Nat and I have been together for over 13 years and although we've gone car camping before and on a bike packing trip a few times, believe it or not, we've actually never gone on a multi-day canoe trip together. And every year at this time of the year in October, because her birthday is in October and because we got married in September, and also because fall peak colors is our favorite time of the year for the two of us, we always take the opportunity to take some time away from the kids, just the two of us. And this year I've managed to convince her to come on a multi-day canoe trip with me. And we are here this weekend doing a simple loop on Crown Land at the most beautiful lake I have ever seen in my entire life. And on top of that, it's the most beautiful time of the year, peak fall colors. The only two things I have to worry about on this trip to make sure that she's having a good time is very simple. Is first, Nat runs very cold. She's just someone that is always cold. So I promised her that she would be warm at all time. Considering the weather report, I think this one's gonna be pretty easy, but I still brought all of my tips and tricks to make sure this is happening. All the down that you ever need. The second thing I promised her is high quality food. Nat really doesn't like the cheap mountain house backpackers kind of meal she likes to eat real good quality food and i don't blame her it is significantly better so let's put it this way for the next 48 hours i'm suspending my husband's status and essentially becoming her guide this is insane <laughs> it is absolutely gorgeous this this looks like uh, superior lake just the colors and how clear it is holy cow I'm navigating off of uh, old maps and uh, I'm having a hard time, honestly, to uh, orient myself clearly on this lake. I think this is one of the campsites. Let's go up here, see it's got wood, fire pit, tent pad. Remember that. All right, Nat's gonna finish setting up all the sleeping bag. Now it's time for me to get some firewood. This is still wet. Whoever cut that, that wasn't that wasn't uh, dry at all. Whenever they cut it, because I don't know how long it's been cut, but this is still wet in the middle. Butter chicken tonight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is good.
sky but the fog's just not lifting. Sun's up on the horizon. It's still gorgeous. It's quite moody. I was hoping to see the fire, the ball of fire pierce right through this fog this morning. It's 10.30 now, uh, the sun has finally come out. Uh, it was, you could tell that the sky was blue and the sun was out, but the fog was so, so thick this morning. It, uh, you couldn't see anything, but it just came out, revealing all the colors around the lake. Man, this, the lake out here is the most beautiful lake I've ever seen in my life. The colors, blue, green, you can see so deep in it with all also, at the same time you get all the colors of the fall this is uh, this is unreal man for breakfast pretty simple gonna go bacon and eggs kind of a mix of everything in the same pan and then uh, we're gonna eat it and we had a little bit of a change of plan to be honest Nat had a pretty bad sleep last night because her lower back is is quite inflamed we think she must have pulled something during the canoe over the canoe I'm using right now is a swift Des Moines which is me meant for white water and the gunnels are pretty high and not this so tiny that reaching over to paddle with the high gunnels makes it extremely hard and we think that she tweaked her back like that so she couldn't sleep all night you know what it's like when you're uncomfortable and in pain in the backcountry when you're just not sleeping it makes the right. experience very uncomfortable and not as fun so the plan is that we're still gonna stay here all day long I've got some really good food that I really want to cook on the fire. I want to explore the lake and see more of the colors. But to kind of finish off the day after dinner, we're going to actually navigate and paddle back to the car in the pitch black uh, under the stars. It's supposed to be a clear sky again tonight, so I think we're going to have an amazing show. And this way we can go home tonight and not can sleep in our, in, uh, in our bed. And uh, she can rest her lower back. I very much can empathize with what it is to have lower back pain. So I want to respect that because I want to make sure that she wants to come back. Breakfast with a view. <laughs> Lunch was a success. We didn't do a whole lot this morning. We were pretty lazy, you know. When we uh, finally get time away from the kids, just the two of us, we tend to relax a little bit. I'm sure a few parents can relate to that. So we had a few coffees, teas, went for a swim. Didn't record that one though because, uh, well, we didn't bring any bathing suits. So I don't think YouTube will appreciate that. Before dinner time, we should really go out on the lake and explore and, and just go uh, visit this absolutely magical, magical lake. I want to go around and check out the other campsites and whatnot, so. Oh no. <laughs> Cheers to the most beautiful lake I've ever seen. 
This place, I keep saying it, but this place is absolutely magical. You can see. Just came back from our little afternoon paddle on the lake. Nat's in the tent just catching up a little snooze. It's time for me to prep dinner, but first off, I need to process some wood. All right, so for dinner tonight, we're gonna be doing something pretty simple. We're gonna be doing some vegetables in the foil, basically, and putting that over the coals and making sure that this really kind of roasts the vegetables really well. And alongside with that, we're gonna have some really, really nice steak with some Montreal steak spice on it. So that should be really good. For the second course, essentially dessert, we're gonna be doing some chocolate cakes in oranges. I've never done this before, but it looked awesome. So let's give that a try. I've already got like kind of the uh, cake mix that I've already prepped at home. The first thing I have to do is, is chop the top off to make a flat lid and then somehow um, empty the inside, which apparently that can be messy and I don't think I have the right tool, but let's give it a go. Maybe if I use the spork. Oh yeah, way better. The nice, the spork actually works really well to scrape the inside out. Way better than the knife. All right, that's one, and that's two. One camping tablespoon. Probably good enough. One egg. Camping spork tablespoon that's favorite dark chocolate one for me there we go stir this in this is what it looks like in here if you want to try this recipe and would like the actual step-by-step -step, just google chocolate orange campfire cake all right now I've got to stuff these oranges with the cake batter Two thirds of the way, because this is supposed to rise. Probably two thirds, what do you say? Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's <really laughs> Wow. Am I supposed to eat raw eggs? I don't know, we'll find out. Good thing I'm sleeping home tonight. And I'm just gonna bunch it up at the top like this, because this will remind me that this is the top. A little trick that I've found over the years with cooking on fire with anything in foil, double the foil. Helps it not burn. And this is gonna take about 25 to 30 minutes to cook and then another 15 to rest. A little apple cider with a star of anise and a cinnamon stick. We're gonna warm this up on the fire also. Right here. That's a pretty crazy sunset. Oh my god. And there's not a single cloud in the sky, so. I think we're gonna have our wish tonight of paddling back to the car under the stars. Wow. What a place. We'll definitely have to come back. <laughs> All right, let's finish dinner now. success. Now let's go see if the dessert turned out all right. You can smell it from here. Oh, we've got cake. <gasps> A little gooey on the inside. <laughs> That's something else. Cheers. We're just paddling on our way back home and 
I have to say I'm actually not upset that we're going home tonight. We're not missing much, plus we're getting this really, really cool experience of paddling under a beautiful, beautiful night sky filled with stars, no moon, no clouds. <laughs> what this trip has made me realize is that you know, this summer I spent a lot of my trips just putting in a lot of miles and pushing and pushing and although I absolutely love that, as you guys know, there's something to be said about just coming out just like we did on Crown Land, finding a base camp, not even moving and just relaxing and spending good time with people that you love, eating good food. And I think I'm, I'm looking forward to doing that again and especially being able to do that with Nat. Until next time, everybody. Peace.